This road between Westport and Maybelly is one of my favorites. It's just constantly changing, turning, climbing, descending. It's awesome. It's also perfectly two hours. This is my second ride since the Tour de Beauce. Just as I thought, I got sick like straight after the race, which is hardly surprising considering how, how bagged I was. It's also bug season. You have to keep the speed above like 25 to not get chowled by these things. Jesus. Ah! since I did just like a normal vlog and not like a race vlog or a triathlon vlog or whatever it's been a busy couple weeks getting sick was probably just a little bit of a blessing in disguise it forced me to just not ride let my knee rest and let my body recover the swelling on my knee has also gone right down everything is back to normal and it feels so good to pedal pain-free. Man, I've been pretty lucky to have a relatively short list of injuries from bike riding. About four years ago, I strained my ITB. About two years ago, I strained my peroneal tendon. And this is the first time I've ever had any knee issues. Knee issues suck. This is the best bit. Just let go. supporting the Ironman events they just have this like vibe and energy and camaraderie that you just don't get at any of the events that I do and while Sarah is out there doing her thing you get to see just like all the normal people just getting it done and while I have a lot of respect for the top athletes and the winners like Lionel Saunders and Holly Lawrence they're like real heroes of the people at the back like really just suffering and just getting it done the people that have full-time jobs and like training around kids and family and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I watched the winner and I also saw the last person coming through and I was almost more impressed with the last person. Like for example, one of Sarah's friends, Catherine, she broke her pelvis like three months before. She was only able to walk two months ago and she somehow just, just finished that whole damn thing. Like it was incredible to see her at the finish line. <laughs> And like hearing another woman who finishes and she's lost like the announcer said like 180 pounds and now she's out there doing freaking half Ironmans and the true value of that race is that it takes everything for people to finish and when they do finish it also changes them and to see people like do that like that's what sport's really about and I know I don't do a lot of mass participation cycling events but I just don't feel like you have that same camaraderie and vibe around them there's something so valuable about that and so awesome I, I really love watching those races and I'm so stoked Sarah does them because actually if she didn't I probably would have never experienced one but honestly that's, that's on my to-do list now take forever to swim smash the bike and probably walk the run but I want to do it 